Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm marking for Friday. Um, this is the Christmas Crunch Challenge and it's day four. No fast, eat two to three meals, no snacks. Have collagen, you guys can still have bone broth if you like. everyone hey good morning good morning happy Friday to you all hey welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody today is day four of our Christmas crunch challenge and for those of you who are new I've designed a different protocol that we're doing on a daily basis for December don't you guys ever feel like when you should be doing like romper room or something with the magic mirror. I don't think people know who Romper Room is. I a little kid show. You know, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. I would. I, well, I love telling show. stories. I would be great telling stories. Yeah, I, it's, it's, I you, know, you just have, have that. You just have that, that attitude, you know. I need. A, I. I. I would be fun. I would. I would enjoy that. That would be fun for me. Anyway, 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 anyway take me off course. Here. Sorry, sorry. Take me off track. Take sorry, me off track. Sorry. We are getting ready to go to Chalice's. Today is Friday. It's my day off. And we're going to go visit with her. Dave is back to work and she's uh, doing better. It's a slow heal, but she's doing better. Thank you all for um, your prayers and well wishes. Truly, truly appreciate it. But Harry, I forgot where I was. Where was I? I was talking about... Oh, yes, I know. December Crunch Challenge. You guys, so many of you lost weight in November. It was awesome. So what the, what the uh, Christmas Crunch Challenge is, is every day we do something different. We do a different protocol so that we can fool our metabolism into releasing fat and burning it as fuel. So basically, if you guys want to hop on board the Christmas Crunch Chain, challenge if i could talk the christmas crunch challenge please go to the link below to our website link click on that url we'll take you to our web page it's there in a jpeg and you can um take a picture of it you can print it out please feel free to share it with your friends and family you guys if you guys go to you can get it you face, can get it in a pdf also yes there's a pdf that you can click on listen share with your facebook groups just let them know you got it from Loving It on Keto. We would love to share it, but we want them to know where we got it from because it does take a little while for me to figure this out. And it's working, and you can tell them it's working. So anyway, you guys, with that, I want to share with everybody that um, everything you eat the day before and sometimes several days prior can have a direct effect on weight stall and water weight gain. Okay, Thanksgiving is a good example. We feasted. We feasted keto, but we still gained weight, and it's easier to gain the water weight than oh, it is God, to lose yeah. it for me and for Eric. Like, like how many days now are we on still trying to lose this turkey thing? Well, yesterday, it was uh, a week. A week ago yesterday. Yeah, so it's taken us over a week to try to get rid of this freaking water we well, Check part on. of it, though, is you had your three-day headache and you took your Tylenol. Well, I'm still on the Tylenol. And you know what? I forgot all about it, but we've never um, taken you to an acupuncturist to get done. Remember when I had those horrible migraines in California and I went oh, yeah. to that, um, that uh, guy, Chinese herbalist yeah. acupuncture guy and he actually alleviated I know. My that was weird, huh? Yeah. So one of our... Um, one of our um, Family, loving it on keto family members, uh, told me about her experience with it. She sent me an instant message, and you remember uh, who it was? Well, that was in California. We don't, we don't have anybody here. No, the person oh, that no, wrote and you. I apologize. God, no, I don't. that was I twenty. I know. Oops, twenty years ago. Over that, it was twenty-five years ago. You know, Are you they... gonna beep that out? That's censored. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Time care of it. out this morning. Woo! telling you anyway I'm getting all off track but we need to get you into an acupuncturist next time to see you, okay. I'll look it up right. anyway anyway okay you guys losing weight water weight gain retention uh, lack of sleep in thereof. my Harry's just pulling me all over the place it's all his fault 
Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys, with that, let me share with you what Harry and I had to eat yesterday. That was perfectly keto. I had the chicken leg and thigh, so it's considered a fifth of a chicken in the uh, in the Fitbit. I had I had to go to work yesterday because it's year end, and I had to do um, close out some POs and and work with my boss on getting uh, uh, things that needed to be accrued for. 2020 because it was our physical year end. Anyway, I took a chocolate toffee keto shake and I put two ounces of half and half for my fat in it and I did drink it. For dinner, I had four ounces of chicken meat and I had cookies and cream ice cream made with keto chow. I had a scoop of collagen, but that was with perfect keto because at work I have a jar of perfect keto and I had two ounces of Khalifa coconut almond milk in it. I had a total of 6% carbs for 18.5 grams, 49% fat for a total of 67.2 grams. I had 45% protein for a total of, what is that? Cootie bug. 136.4 grams, which is a little bit more protein. We try to keep our protein, you guys, at or below our lean body mass weight. Mine is 120 pounds, and I fasted for 19 hours, by the way. Total calories, 1,235. Yesterday was a 16-hour day. Was it? Let's yeah, see. Show 16, me. right here. 16-hour fast, two that meals, was no snacks, bone broth, collagen. Yeah, that was... So, yeah. we actually, I actually fasted 19 hours because I was in meetings yesterday. Had to work around the meetings. Harry's lean body mass is 133 pounds. I'll explain it in a minute. And he fasted for 20 hours. Okay. He had the chicken, half a chicken breast and a wing, and wing. Two tablespoons of mayo and a tablespoon of mustard. I made a little mustard mayo aioli for him to dip his chicken in. He had a ground beef bowl. He loves them. Five ounces of ground chuck, three eggs. The eggs were cooked in a half a teaspoon, tablespoon of butter. He had cookies and cream ice cream made with keto chow. He had two scoops of collagen and he had the Khalifa coconut almond milk, about two ounces of that as well. 4% carbs total for a total of 14.4 grams, 57% fat for a total of 99.6 grams, 39% protein for a total of 154.4 grams and total calories 1,636, you guys. So well, that, chick that chicken wing was really huge. No, the chicken wing was like big around my finger. Well, it was a chicken wing and we got to count it, buddy. Got to count it. Chicken wing, chicken leg, chicken thigh. I got and maybe. It wasn't a Cornish game hen. Well, it's nothing. It would be like a toothpick. I mean, they need to, maybe they need to work out a little bit or something. Oh, okay. Like anyway, Harry and I both went down, you guys. So we're, we're right here on the downward slope now. We just have to get back to our all-time new low weight. So this is water weight we're losing, okay? It's not fat. I weighed in at 176.2. I went down four-tenths of a pound. Harry weighed 174. He went down four-tenths of a pound. And our poor arrow scale is getting confused now because Harry and I weigh almost the same and we get on and off the same. And you have to make sure your name is the one that comes up, huh, Harry? Oh, yeah, because it gets it confused. It starts getting confused. Yeah. Even Fitbit, because it's tied to our Fitbit, gets confused. So I have to go in and make sure that it didn't pull Harry's numbers into mine and vice versa. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to let Harry talk about the big board before we head out the door. We're going to stop at a Starbucks somewhere along the way. Oh, well, we're going to spend big money today. Well, Charlie wants it. I told her I'd bring her a her favorite uh, chai tea, and I want a big venti americano with sugar-free cinnamon dolce and light heavy whipping cream in mine. Like that? I got that yes. At the boot before yesterday? boot barn when yeah, I took those barn. boots back. Yep. yep. But it's cold, so I put it on over my uh, long sleeve. Long sleeve Got your gator ready to go and everything. I'm ready to go. <coughs> I'm ready to hit the road. Uh, well, you know, I we're, we're we're going down. You can see we had problems right here. That's from the restaurant. 
Yeah, that was the restaurant yeah, meal. Yeah, it was. That was that restaurant meal, yeah. which, which, yeah. which drove us up. And everybody is saying that they hide so many ingredients in oh, yeah, to restaurant eat. food. Yeah, somebody said that yesterday. Yes, I I she used was. to work in the restaurant industry. I it was, are you, was it are you V in there yet, or Eileen? Eileen. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. It, yeah. Anyway. All the hidden stuff, all the hidden MSG, yeah. all the hidden seasonings, all the hidden something bad is, oils. That's, that's what I'm yeah. wondering. Is something is giving me. You go. know, I bet you that wasn't all a real 100% olive oil either. It probably was an oil, olive oil blend. Oh, probably. Olive I'm oil sure blend. They try to cut corners every which way they can. But. Um, what do we do today? So, but you can see, like, you can, you can, I, I still have this thing about this. Look about us losing weight when it comes to calories. I still, I think calories is only part of the deal because the more I look at this and all the back ones, it's not the calories that are driving right, us down. Right, because we didn't lose calories here, but we, I mean, we, I was lower. Yeah, we gained here. Well, you did it, but I did. And it was 1663. But 569 is really low. And I can't go by that because that's like, to me, that's, almost like starvation low well that's why we do it one day yeah do, and we eat day. protein basically i'm we still make our Wednesday I, anyway protein. anyway i'm still not too sure about that i i think that it helps it's part of it but it's also extremely what you eat i really have come down to that it's it's not so much the calories but what you eat and what because i think that what you eat either has some bad stuff in it or maybe your body gets inflamed off of certain things and you need to find out what that is, and that's why we're doing this. And I like lettuce, so like vegetables. So many things from this that causes me yeah. to uh, get inflammation. Cheese. Yeah. Oh, cheese really big. And salad is terrible. Yeah. For me, you have gained Not water weight gain. Way, so it really does it to me, and this has proven it to me. So now I know when I eat those things, I'm gonna go up. And it's not that we're not going to eat them. It's just we have to be prepared for a water weight retention day. And then I think the low calories help you, you know, eat the fat that's in your system because it needs the, you know, energy. the energy to keep going. Whereas if I was using glucose, it would go straight for the glucose, take the fat, store it away, and use the glucose to run the body on. So that's where I think the calories come in. So yeah, it helps you lose fat. If you take in more food and energy via calories, you're not going to lose the weight. Well, I need to, I really need to do a whole thing on that because I really <coughs> work on this for the documentary, this part. Right. Um, the, about the, the, the fat loss. Even Dr. Eric and Westman the, says we've, we've got, yeah, because we've calories. Gone in, we've gone in, uh, we've gone in, um, uh, interviewed a few doctors that are keto doctors. This is all they do for this film we're doing. And... They, they pretty much got it down, and it's really interesting, but I don't want to go into that because that's just too much to go into. But anyways, let's go on because we've got to get to Chalice's house. Yes. You know, that's why doctors such as Dr. Uh, Eric Westman says, you know, here's my list of foods. These are all approved foods. This is how much you need to eat. If you eat that, you know, eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, and if you're not taking in the extra, if you're burning off the food you're eating and more, your body's gonna pull the fat out and burn it for energy because calories are energy. They're a measurement of energy. So I think that's that's about it, you guys. Yeah, because we gotta hit morning. the road. We gotta hit the road. We gotta go pick up our um, Vitacost, but not Vitacost. Okay. Vitacost, you know, work it. My Vitacost is late. I've got two shipments, two huge shipments because they had Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Yeah, we're still wait waiting for the box of secret food or whatever the heck, heck it is. You know, you just, your mouth this morning. Ooh, body mouth, body mouth. Yeah, well, you know, it just, it's because of my headache and my stomach. No, it's yeah, not. It's all about that. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just have a potty mouth. Anyway, you guys. We'll share uh, when we get to chalices. We'll film if we eat anything throughout the day. We'll let you guys know what we're doing because we are fasting. We're not hungry, you know. So we'll eat when we are uh, hungry and stop when we're full. Chally said, Mom, can you make me some bacon? I've got, I made Dave go get me thick bacon. Can you make some? So, oh, should we take some parchment paper? Yeah. Should we? Okay. Yeah. 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 Say goodbye. Oh, say goodbye. 
See you guys in the next segment. So, I don't know if you guys can see that out there, but there's a brown layer. Oh, it's worse. We gotta get up okay. higher. Okay, when we get up higher, you'll see. That's an abu. They call it a habu. Habu. And what it is is that that's dirt. Turn the radio down. Uh, that's dirt. If you can see it, it's flying through the air and it's coming towards us. It's really bad. Yeah, over to the right, you can really see it. It's almost just dirty dark brown color if I can get it I'll show you We've got spores that just stay in the dirt and when the habus come and pick them up and fly them all over and dogs can animals can get it and so can humans valley fever mom got valley fever when we moved here at least that's what she was diagnosed with high fever you know so everything the pores and the pollen are all layered on the dirt floor and then it, the habus come and pick all that up and blow it through the air so you breathe it hey you guys i got a vente decaf americano with sugar-free cinnamon dolce and light heavy whipping cream for harry and i got a vente regular americano with sugar-free cinnamon dolce and one scoop of sugar-free vanilla and light heavy cream and Charlie's got a hot chai tea so I'm excited here let me give this to you so I can come around Harry all right get in. put it right here 13 bucks for three cups of coffee yeah it's nuts man yeah but it's you know what every once in a while it's good so how are you guys doing we're fine now how's Sally doing I got everything I need how's Sally doing yeah, uh, she says cold. I'm doing fine. She's, She's cold. cold. She's a desert dog. Yeah, definitely. Hey, you guys. Shelly wanted to come to the Cracker Barrel. She got all dressed, and she's doing really good, aren't you? Yep. So we came to the Cracker Barrel, and I may switch today with tomorrow. I may just get one of their huge chef salads and just have a one big salad today. I'm not sure. We have to look at the menu, but that's where we're at. We're at Cracker Barrel. The town's doing really good. So Harry's got this eight ounce sirloin ground steak and a side of green beans and broccoli at Cracker Barrel. And I have their huge chef salad, you guys. What'd you get? I got an egg sandwich. Egg sandwich. I'm being bad. I got bread. Now, well, yo, yeah, what? I got bread. bread. She got bread. Oh, she got bread. Yeah. And I've got the ranch dressing. So I'm sure the dressing is not on par, but it'll work in a pinch. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. great time with Chalice. She actually did really good, you guys. After Cracker Barrel, we went to uh, Home Goods and TJ Maxx, which were right next door. Harry got himself a new big old Christmas mug. Yep. Cute. Really cute. Yep. That'd be my mug. I got myself a Christmas mug. It's cute. Hers is like prettier, but uh, I like, the I like then, mine. You guys, skinny syrup. I got caramel fudge waffle cone. Fudge? Caramel fudge waffle cone flavor. I got s'mores flavor. And then I got salted caramel mocha flavor. Sounded good to me. Bought myself a new spoon trivet because, you know, I broke my red one. And I got a buy it cost shipment that I want to share with everybody. They had um, Black Friday, and I think it was 20% off store-wide, which is really cool. I get a lot of stuff from buy it cost and I'll share with you guys what all I got. I have two, a total of two coming, and I look at the way they pack. They really pack up their stuff nicely. There we go. I got better half almond. Uh, it's the uh, no sugar added. Better stevia. They were out of my pumpkin. 
Oh yeah, it's over with yeah. for the year. Well, no, it's not over. They just were, they were out of stock. So I got, I like the Terra packs because they last on the shelf for a year. Yeah. So I really like that. I go through Burt's Bees. I have to have something on my mouth. Either it's lipstick or when the case where it's face mask and gaiters, I put this on because my mouth is so dry here in Phoenix, Arizona. So I got myself a pack of that and oh, oh look, better stevia. Good. It was like on sale. Out. Hazelnut, something new I've never tried. Dark chocolate, I love it. I use that in my French vanilla. I use um, the dark chocolate in my ice cream. More dark chocolate. English chocolate. There's like a couple bucks off a bottle, which was really? amazing, yeah. Hazelnut. I used to love hazelnut lattes in Washington State. So, we go through this like crazy, Harry and I. Yeah, like one every two days. No, Harry. No, we do not. So, I'm excited about that. I get my vitamins from there. Valerian root I use, you guys, for oh, yeah, um, man. to go to sleep. Helps you sleep Three of big these time. Tablets. It really works well. Smells terrible. Yeah, but it works. But they work great. I got calcium, potassium, magnesium, excuse me, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Yep. Do that every night, too. Yeah. And then this should be my Walden's Farms syrup. Uh, they really packed this stuff really well. These were, I mean, I'm just amazed at the price that these were. I have more coming because I got an email from them. They extended the sale, so I decided to stock up. I love this Walden's Farms pancake syrup. Anybody ever sees me make our chaffles? Is it absolutely clean? Not really. Is it made with sucralose? Yes, it is. Is it delicious and pours and tastes just like regular syrup to me? Yes, it does. So that's what we use and that's what we like. They really pack their stuff great though. I can't remember what all I got. Oh yeah. I thought I would try their Walden's Sugar-free chocolate syrup on our ice cream, Harry. That's a good idea. I thought so. Considering it's zero calories. Here's all the ingredients here, if you can zoom in. It is sweetened with sucralose. This part? The whole, uh-huh. But it's zero calories. Yes, it has carrageenan. Yes, it has some canola. Way down at the bottom, the last ingredient. It's not like I'm going to pour this or drink it out straight from the bottle. At least I don't think so. Okay, I don't know you guys um, how this is going to taste. Let's try some. Let's, let's, well, let's open it up. Test. See what it's like. Can you give me a spoon and not watch me open this up with a knife? It smells just like chocolate. Looks like chocolate. Smells like chocolate. Ooh. Well, tastes like chocolate milk. Here, taste. Yes. It does taste like chocolate milk. Doesn't it? Yeah. We'll have to try that on. I'll make a, a vanilla flavored or chocolate toffee or something and pour some of that on our ice cream. Yeah. It has a little bit off taste, but not bad. I think if you had it with something, it would be really, really good. Oh, yeah. It tastes good on like vanilla. Yeah. Ice cream or uh, one of those ones that are like vanilla that we make. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to make our uh, taco bowl in just a minute after we put all this stuff away. Got to put it away. And look, Sally, she's saying, Papa, she's we have an ice cream. jumping on me, man. I know she is. She heard the word ice cream. What do we? Not yet. Pretty oh, soon. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yours is ready. Mine is. Mm -hmm. We got mine ready. Well, here, you want to take the camera and I'll go eat? No. This is all measured. Mine's in the oven. How come you got more chips in me? Oh my gosh. I don't. I have the same bag as you do. Move. It's gonna... The water's ready. Mm -mm 
I love this. This is one of my favorite this dinners. This is your favorite dinner in yep. the whole wide world. Oh, oh yeah. So I put it's my number one. And this is naked hamburger because of Sally. When we cook it, we cook it totally naked of sauce and spices, although it tastes better when you do marry the spices as you cook it. But this way, I get Byron's butt rub. I get to make it my way. Because this is Wendy's right here. Wendy's way. Harry has, I want hot sauce on mine. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy, that's hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a dollop of mayonnaise. I'm eyeballing it. It's been an eyeball kind of day. There you go. Okay, you guys. These are our beef bowls for dinner. Taco beef bowls. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I made lemon meringue ice cream for keto chow ice cream for dessert. So anyway, you guys, that's what we're having. We'll come back when it's ice cream. It's ice cream. It seems like we finish every night with ice cream. We do. Almost. We didn't last night because we had no ice cream because it was a 500 calorie night. Ooh, like this. Now this is the lemon, which when I tasted it, you guys. It looks green. No, it isn't. It's white. Oh. It's a pale, pale, pale color. Okay. So. Here's the deal with it. I was a little bit upset that it wasn't more lemony, but I love, when I think of lemon meringue, I think tart and tangy, and Harry thinks this tastes like a lemon chiffon cake. Cake, yeah. You know, that light, fluffy, cakey with just a hint of lemon sweetness? Yes. So. It's that's exactly what, he, what it tastes like. That's what he says. Hint of it. lemon sweetness. So let me try this. Maybe some lemon zest in this. That's very good, but it is, the lemon is almost an after hint. Yes. Yes, what? It tastes like lemon. But not it Tastes a like lot. a lemon cake to me, just yes. like a lemon cake with the lemon icing and the whole thing. See, I don't have, a, I must not have. Maybe it's the way my mom made it. I would add lemon zest to this and get some lemon extract and add to it just to make it because if you add lemon juice, it could quag it could um, curdle because there's real cream in here and half and half and it can curdle. I think if I remember right, I think lemon curdles milk. So anyway, well, you guys, didn't ask it's me. very good, but it's very mild. And if you're a super taster, and everything, you're very sensitive to taste. I'm not, my tongue is pretty dead, and so that's why I use a ton of seasonings and stuff. I would like it a little more lemony, but it's very good, and I'm gonna keep it. You know what might work in this? Lemonade meal water enhancer. Might work. Oh yeah, I bet you it would. Yeah. yeah, I think that would work. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna close out tonight's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the day with us. We had a great day with Chalice, and she's finally feeling better. She's doing better. She got dressed. She says, Mom, I feel human today. She was able to wash her own hair. You know, I washed it last time I was there for her in the kitchen sink because she's got one of those. Uh, yeah. I don't know what you call it. Shower head that you can remove? Yeah, well, it's not a shower head. It's her sink thing that moves around. So, anyway. Um... You guys, if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up, you guys. Please. Tomorrow is <laughs> one big salad day right here. It's an all mad with enough to meet your minimum requirement. Use bone broth, you guys. So I got to figure something out for our salad, but I think it'll be a surprise. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. My brain won't work anymore. Not that it worked very well in well, the beginning. It's been anyway. a weird day, you know. It has been. Even though we, we had a good time. We and had a really good time, too. Yeah. Then came home to a, you know. Well, we had a little issue when we came home. Uh -huh. So, family of a diverse sort. So, a little bit of drama.